Good Tuesday morning, Ezekiel 47. In my vision I saw a stream flowing east from beneath the door of the temple and passing to the right of the altar on its south side. There will be swarms of living things wherever the water of this river flows. Life will flourish wherever this water flows. Ezekiel was gifted by God to see spiritual visions like no other. God in his wisdom opened up the spiritual realm to Ezekiel, who was called to minister to people who sat in utter ruin and slavery in the land of Babylon. They had lost all hope. They were like dry bones, Ezekiel said in chapter 37. God knew that only a heavenly vision would awaken them to the spiritual realities before them. So, God spoke to Ezekiel through visions, starting with a vision of God's glory. This vision of a river flowing from the temple gives a symbolic picture of the latter day restoration that was to come through the new covenant. Before this vision, God showed him the new temple with all its wonderful features. After this vision, God shows the vision of the river flowing from the door of the temple, indicating how the restoration process is going to take place. Initially, in chapter 37, God brings in life to lifeless dry bones. In the preceding chapters, the vision enlarges to show the restoration of the temple and how godly worship is restored. As soon as the real worship is established, the vision of the river is given. This vision shows how the life from God will start flowing in increasing depths. To get the work of God extended out to others who are dead in their trespasses. The river symbolizes the river of life we see in Revelation chapter 22. Then the angel showed me a river with the water of life clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb. It flowed down from the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew a tree of life bearing 12 crops of fruit with a fresh crop each month. The leaves were used for medicine to heal the nations. This is the very thing Jesus was promising when he saw the people thirsty for real water of life in the temple. In John chapter 7, Jesus stood and shouted to the crowds, Anyone who is thirsty may come to me. Anyone who believes in me may come and drink. For the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. We need this river of life to flow through New Testament temples, and that is each believer today. Unless this river flows out of our personal temple, there is no life or spiritual healing that's going to take place. Our world is like the Dead Sea with no life. Only when this life-giving water flows out from you and I to the world we live in will we see the wonderful results of fruitfulness and life promised through this vision given to God by Ezekiel. For this river to flow freely, our lives need to be transformed more and more into the likeness of Jesus. Only this continual transformation will assure the continual supply of life from heaven. The river of life will flow through our transformed lives. Dear Father, dear Father in heaven, I. I submit my life to you to, to have this living water flowing through me to heal the deadness of the world around me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.